All right, Kristen, thank you for that. And now let's head out to meteorologist Ricky Matthews, who is examining the force of the water and the devastation it led to. It's pretty wild when you see what you looked at on radar in real life. Behind me is where a house used to be. Down in the creek, there's cars that have just been washed down this creek, all because of five to eight inches of rain that fell upstream and then came all the way down this creek and caused it to rise to a significant height. Behind me, if you look, all the way over to basically where the taller trees are, that's where the water was. I want you to think about how much deeper, how much faster, and how wide the water was. Even where I'm standing, there was water at that time. I wouldn't be able to stand here because I would have been washed down the creek because of the strength of the water as it was flowing on Monday morning. So just kind of unimaginable, kind of hard to really grasp what you're looking at here and how worse it looked on Monday. Of course, now you see all the devastation and the damage left behind, but just think about how much water was here, forcing things downstream, forcing homes downstream, cars, pretty much anything in its path. The power of water is certainly an amazing thing. In Hurley, I'm meteorologist Ricky Matthews.